about it. It could have stopped, been stopped in place. It could have been stopped right where it came from, China. If we would have known about it, if they would have known about it. It could have been stopped in its tracks. Unfortunately, they didn't decide to make it public. But uh, the whole world is suffering because of it. I called for a ban from people coming in from China long before anybody thought it was, in fact, it was your network. I believe they called me a racist because I did that. Uh, it was many of the people in the room, they call me racist and other words. It amazes me when I read the Wall Street Journal, which is always so negative. Uh, it amazes me when I read the New York Times, it's not even, I don't, I barely read it. You know, we don't distribute it in the White House anymore, and the same thing with the Washington Post. They are siding with China. They are doing things that they shouldn't be doing. They're siding with many others. China is the least of it. It is fake news. It's more than fake news. It's corrupt news. You're actually sitting too close. You should really, we should probably get rid of about another 75, 80 percent of you. I'll have just two or three that I like in this room. I think that's a great way of doing it. We just figured a new way of doing it. The World Health Organization says new cases of coronavirus infections are not rising dramatically outside of China. That is, apart from on a cruise line and now quarantined at a Japanese port. A WHO spokesperson said this on Thursday. Uh, the number of countries reporting cases has still not changed and, uh, and outside, uh, outside the cases on the Diamond Princess cruise ship, uh, we're not seeing a dramatic increase in transmission outside China. And that is uh, the, the current picture. Uh, we're still saying to governments around the world that we still have an opportunity to prepare for the potential spread of the virus. Regarding the Diamond Princess cruise ship, uh, which is currently quarantined in Yokohama, 218 passengers have tested positive for the virus, which does represent the largest cluster of COVID-19 cases outside China. A further 44 cases were reported on the Diamond Princess on Thursday. Authorities say some elderly people will finally be allowed to disembark on Friday.基本上是二十四小时我是害怕
，现在早餐也没有，医生也没有。High security at laboratories handling coronaviruses to stop accidental leaks. Experimentation on samples tightly controlled. Yet some scientists think the virus behind COVID-19 might have come from a lab, even though the prevailing view is it occurred naturally. A former spy chief says the lab idea shouldn't be dismissed as conspiracy. It's an engineered escapee from the Wuhan Institute. I'm not saying anything other than the fact that you know it was the result of an accident, and that the virus is the consequence of. You know, gain function experiments that were being conducted in Wuhan, which, I mean, I don't think are particularly sinister. Sources from your former place of work say that this idea that the virus was manufactured in a lab is just not credible. I, I'm, I'm just staggered. They clearly haven't read the science, um, and they haven't attempted to understand it because the onus is now. On the leadership of China to explain why the theory and the hypothesis that it could be engineered is wrong. Research by this scientist and the chairman of a Norwegian vaccine firm helped shape Sir Richard's view. They've published one paper despite resistance, but have yet been able to publish a second. I thought the whole point of a scientific journal was you. Put forward some speculation, and you opened it up to uh, debate. Uh, disagree with we want. I mean, that's that's how you get to the right answers. The first known victims of COVID-19 were here in the Chinese city of Wuhan. It's widely thought the disease probably descended from an animal virus, most likely in bats. But there's no proof about how it then jumped and adapted to humans. In a world where information can be weaponized, what should be a purely scientific question has evolved into a highly political one. And what gives you a high degree of confidence that this originated from the Wuhan Institute of Virology? I can't tell you that. I'm not allowed to tell you that. Following the science will be key at this new laboratory in Cambridge. The man in charge is dismissive of the lab theory. When we look at the epidemiology of the virus. What we know about the sequence of the virus and the biological properties that we're getting more and more information, it looks more and more that it came from an animal. The existence of this lab in Wuhan that worked on bat coronaviruses is seen by some as more than just a coincidence, but the Institute of Virology denies it's to blame for COVID-19. Sky News has spoken. Hi, Minister Dion. Amanda Connolly with iPolitics.ca. Thank you for taking our questions today. Uh, there, are, there are no shortage of, con shortage of concerns about China's treatment of human rights advocates, such as the Hong Kong booksellers, and its detention of the Garrets. Uh, not to mention the destabilizing effects of its territorial ambitions in the South China Sea. Given these concerns, why is Canada pursuing closer ties with China? How do you plan to use that relationship to improve human rights and security in the region? And did you specifically raise the case of the Garrets during your discussions with the Foreign Minister today? 我要对刚才这个记者涉及到中国的呃问题，要做一个回应。I want to make a response to the questions asked by this journalist about China. 你的提问充满了对中国的偏见和所谓不知道而从什么地方来的傲慢，我是完全不能接受的。I have to say that、uh, your question is full of、uh, prejudice and against China and、uh, arrogance, where I don't know. Where that come from, and、uh, this is totally unacceptable. You 了解中国吗？你去过中国吗？你知道中国从一个一穷二白的面貌，把六亿以上的人摆脱了贫困吗？你知道中国现在已经成为人均八千美元的一个世界第二大经济体吗？如果我们不不能够很好的保护人权的话，中国能取得这么大的发展吗？你知道中国已经把保护人权列入到我们的宪法当中吗？我要告诉你，最了解。中国的人权的状况不是你，而是中国人自己。你没有发言权，而中国有发言权。所以，请你不要再做这种不负责任的提问。中国欢迎一切善意的这种建议，但是我们拒绝任何无端的指责。
I have to ask whether you understand China. Have you been to China? Do you know that China has lifted more than 600 million people out of poverty? And do you know that China is now the second largest economy in the world uh, from a very low foundation? Do you think development is possible for China without protection of human rights? And do you know that China has written protection and promotion of human rights into our constitution? And uh, those who uh, other people don't know better than the Chinese people about the human rights condition in China. And it's the Chinese people who are in the best situation, who the, in the best position to have say about China's human rights situation. So I would like to suggest to you that please don't ask questions in such an irresponsible manner. And uh, we welcome goodwill suggestions, but uh, we reject uh, groundless or unwarranted accusations.